either, right? Having uh, you know student led revision is, is not a bad idea. There, there are some obstacles there, of course, but that helps them to see and get perspective, right? From someone they really, 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 you know, at their level, so, so to speak, right? Uh, but 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 it helps them, right? So peer to peer review is always a very very good option, right? But in, in terms of early vision, you, wanna, you also want to model that first, right? So taking a piece of writing, a short piece of writing, right? A paragraph or, or something like that, maybe yourself generated or just, you know, a sample from somewhere else. Uh, and uh, and now how you would revise, right? How, what would we do to improve this, right? Have a purpose, right? We wanted to do this or, or we have uh, uh, this, this, this piece is supposed to, right? Uh, uh, honor or convince or whatever it is, right? So how do we, how do we revise it? Right? How, do we, how, do we, how do we edit and revise to, to make it more appropriately address our purpose, right? And that's really one of the... One of the Writing is revision. It's the primary directive, right? Which is ultimately the problem with the test. Although the test offers you plenty of opportunity for, for a first draft to be edited into something good. I tell the kids I teach, if you're going to be a writer, you need a loving and careful editor, somebody who's well read. And that's a big part of my role as an educator. They write, I may have a loving and thoughtful practitioner. I offer them a response to what they think they've conveyed in their writing so they can revisit it and make it better. And and ultimately that's writing. You know, the more revision, the better the writing. As a college professor, I can't imagine what could be more important in the classroom, in the writing classroom, than revision. I mean, we start with invention activities, with brainstorming, and all of that. We spend a great deal of time on that. But then students have to do a rough draft. They have to do peer review with their peers in class, also in Canvas, also with me. And then if I really feel they need help, they also have to take a draft to the writing center. So there's no way a student can get out of doing revision. A lot of times they think, oh, the first thing I write is good. And of course that's not true at all. So I always begin with the essay, um, writing shitty first drafts. And we talk about how the first thing you write is just never gonna be gold, not even for professional writers, which of course none of our students are. But I love to see how they grow and how they think the first draft was good. And then they actually see the revision and the potential and what it really could be and how great it really is. And then I just take really great pride in seeing the process from them going to, oh, I thought this was great until it's actually great. I actually think that the best way to teach kids how to write is through consistent workshopping and revision. So all of my students produce their written pieces in different parts of it, so topic sentences. And before we move on to evidence or commentary, everybody has to revise their topic sentences with workshop that. Then we'll add in our evidence, then we'll provide our commentary, workshopping it the whole way through because it also promotes better cognition if I only actually workshop three examples from the class but tell kids to look for the same mistakes in their own papers. They have to be reflective, they have to consistently revise. And the other cool part is that when one kid uses a really cool vocab word, I'll make all the other kids use that vocab word in their piece as well. So we can get some kind of integrated vocab as well as we talk about connotations and denotations and strong vocab and strong sentence structures. And we can actually create an entire um, revised product, but the end product that comes into me because it's revised as we process through the paper is typically better. And my kids almost always have B pluses or A minuses because they produce good work because we teach them how to do it.